and welcome back everybody what's up you guys hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you're new to the channel today hello my name is Ruben and today we're gonna have story time and today's story time is gonna be about the time when I was homeless in Paris all right yes I was homeless in Paris but okay so uh, the story begins is uh, I was in Paris and when I was uh, going to leave Paris I was gonna catch a coach to go to Switzerland I was gonna go to Geneva in Switzerland and my coach was going to be at 11.30, that's what I thought, right? And so since my uh, coach leaves at 11.30 that night, I decided to go, you know, 30 minutes early because that's what you're supposed to do, right? So I arrived there at 11 o'clock. And when I was arriving, I saw a coach that said Geneva on it. And as soon as I got there, it left. And I'm like, oh, all right. Uh, I'm just like, all right, uh, you know, it probably wasn't the one I was getting on. So I was like, you know, I'll just go ahead and just, you know, wait a little bit. And then uh, ask or whatever, you know. And I'm and I'm there, you know, chilling. And I'm just like, bro, like this coach is is not coming, right? So then I just like asked the uh, the worker right that was right there. All right. So then I asked him, you know, like when's this when's this bus coming? You know, where is it gonna pull up? You know, everything. And then he tells me like, no, no, like that bus already left half an hour ago, man. Like it just left. And then uh, and then he tells me he goes on telling me that I guess the bus driver changed the time from 11:30 to uh, 11 o'clock so he, he changed the driver's change of time and apparently I mean and I didn't and I didn't know about it I guess uh, I mean apparently he sent out an email but I mean I'm, I'm on holiday man like I don't I ain't got time to be checking my email right so I didn't check the email and so uh, later on I, I went back and I uh, looked for the email that it, it was there like he changed the bus driver sent an email and with the time change and whatnot and uh, so at this point, you know, I had, you know, just booked out of my hostel and I uh, found out that the bus left. So I basically had nowhere to stay in Paris for one night. And to make things worse, the freaking bus station was closed. So I couldn't even like go in there and like maybe talk to someone about buying another ticket. No, I didn't. I couldn't even do that. But luckily, the bu bus station did have a uh, Wi-Fi. So what I had to do was just stand outside and get some Wi-Fi on my phone and uh, then I tried to buy a ticket but then it was not working on my phone for some reason like I put everything in like all my credit card information everything and just would not be able to buy the ticket so what I had to do was you know get my laptop out in public you know, outside of the bus station in Paris which is already like that's so sketch so I was really sketched out about that but I had to do it because I needed to buy the ticket and so I go on and I buy the ticket and I bought my ticket for uh, seven, about 7.30 the next morning. So what I had to do was uh, I had to just, you know, chill outside of the bus station uh, out on the, like, uh, like right next to, like, a wall. And uh, what I had to do was just, you know, set everything down. And uh, I had to sleep on the concrete, like, floor outside of the station. And I, like, kind of put myself, like, in between, like, these two, like, uh, bushes, kind of. So like people really see me and so like I'm just kind of protecting from the wind because it was, and it was it was so cold too. Oh my god, it was just cold at night. So I had to just put on a, a coat and it was just pretty. It was just pretty bad, dude. And uh, it turns out you know as I'm waiting or uh, yeah as I'm, as I'm just like chilling. It was like maybe one in the morning I think. Uh, this other guy you know was walking around too. And then like apparently he lost his bus too, or I don't know what happened to him. But he also had to like uh, sleep outside of the bus station just like me. So he sleeps outside of the bus station, but he sleeps on like the other side of the bus station. So we, we weren't really next to each other. And uh, in the morning, I was like, we're both, you know, we both get up. And then he, he walks around. And then, uh, and then we, we make eye contact. And then we're just like, and we just do the nod like, what's up? Like, yeah, yeah, we just, like, yeah, we just did that. Uh... It was, yeah, so it was pretty funny, uh, but then, you know, I got on, like, the bus, and I went to Geneva, and I got there, like, super late already, so I was supposed to stay in Geneva for, like, a whole day, basically, but with, uh, what had happened, I only got about, like, maybe four hours in Geneva, which was just horrible, man, and I already smelled pretty bad, because I just had slept outside, and I had to walk around Geneva to explore, and then I had to get on another night bus to go to Munich, so I basically went on a long time without taking a shower, but once I got to Munich, I took a shower gladly, and basically I was homeless in uh, 
I was homeless in Paris, so you know, not not many people could say that, you know. So, it was, but it was definitely an experience. And uh, but the one cool thing that did happen to me though uh, was uh, the bus that I was taking in Geneva during the day. It had a layover in uh, Lyon, and what ended up happening is uh, as well. I'm at the bus station and uh, slash train station because it's like a bus station and a train station at the same time. It's like both. Uh, I end up seeing someone from the university that I was uh, studying abroad in in England. So it was, just, it was just super crazy coincidence, you know, that, you know, I happen to be at the same train station that this other person is in uh, in France, you know, in, a, in the city of Lyon. It was just crazy coincidence. So that that was really cool. So, you know, definitely a fun experience, I guess. But I don't I don't look forward to uh, sleeping uh, outside in Paris again. I, I hope it never happens to me again, but, you know, we'll see. And I've told uh, other friends about, like, the story of, like, you know, where I missed the... the the bus and how to how and how I had to buy another bus ticket and why not but I always like omit the part where I tell them that I slept outside uh you know I just tell them I found I found a place to stay is what I tell them but you know but you know I want everybody to know the full story now and you guys know it so yeah so now that you guys know about the full story uh you know I would love to hear uh if you guys have any uh stories like that so you know make sure to you know leave a comment please uh down below and uh if you're new to the channel Please uh, hit that subscribe button, please. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time well, with another video. So uh, see you guys soon. All right. Goodbye.